Hello again YouTube, my name is Hans and welcome to my channel and this episode of Darktable Insights. This is an introduction to Darktable, one of the best free tools for organizing and editing your photos. Today I'm going to show you one way to edit this image in Darktable. Last time I uh, showed you how to import photos into Darktable. And today I'm just gonna start by repeating a little bit about that. So first we go to import up on the left hand side. And today we're importing from a folder. This is uh, this folder here. So I just select that folder. And then I open. And here is the image we're gonna work on today. This is just an uh, edit I made yesterday to rehearse my episode. So we're gonna start from fresh. What we do then is we select the image and we press Ctrl D. That makes a virtual copy which means that uh, it's the same RAW file but uh, we make a new set of instructions so I'll take away this green color label I'll do that for both of them because I don't need it anymore so now we select our virtual copy we go to history stack and we say discard that means that we'll start fresh again. So here the image is without any edits. So we'll start with the white balance. I think it's a little bit cold. And uh, this is the camera, the camera white balance. If we go to cloudy, it gets a little bit warmer, and that's a tiny bit too warm, I think. So then we have this fine tuning that we can drag to minus one and there I'm satisfied next thing we'll take the exposure and drag it up a little bit just to give us some more lee room to bring things down again later there about two thirds of a stop up and now I want to bring out some drama in the clouds, they're way too light. So I'll do that first with shadows and highlights module, where I will uh, reset uh, set shadows adjustment to a zero, just right click on it and type in zero. And then we have highlights at the default val value. That gives us a little bit more in the clouds, but not enough. So I'll go for a tone curve, which I'll apply with a gradient mask. A drone mask to begin with. And we'll put it there. Turn it slightly and move it a bit upwards, I think. Try to avoid as much as possible of this hilltop. And maybe making it a bit softer. And then we can drag down the clouds. Like that, maybe. To begin with. Just round off the curve a bit. Okay, now you see we affect the uh, hilltop a bit here. Uh, if we drag the gradient up too much, then we don't affect the clouds. We need to go all the way up here, I don't want that. So we'll bring in a parametric mask. Change this to drawn and parametric, and then we take the black sliders 
drag them all the way up to around here and then we adjust softness to get so that we don't get any uh, artifacts around here we'll zoom in by middle clicking in the image and you can see the transition here is quite clean I'll try to adjust a little bit extra there maybe yeah or was that a bit too much yeah it was too much up in the corner there well here we are then it's the rest of the image we'll take another tone curve make a new instance and we'll have another uh, gradient place it roughly in the same place and then turn it around so we get the uh, lower end of it the lower side of it and then we'll just increase the contrast just take the endpoints so it's more like a levels control actually and bring it down like this so the shadows in the trees here are almost black and bring it up so we get a bit of punch in the buildings and the road like there here's before and here's after then we need some more color and my favorite way of uh, increasing contrast is to use a module called color uh, color contrast we find it in the color group I think no we don't don't have it yet No, we don't have it up yet. So we'll go to more modules and find it here. Color contrast. I'll add that as a favorite, I think. So no, that was color correction. I was wrong. Uh, color contrast. There. Here we have two sliders. One is blue versus yellow. You can see the effect of it here. And the other one is green versus magenta. Takes up the green. In this, in this image we only have greens and yellows and a bit of reds. So what I'll do is bring those up. If we keep the number the same on both of them, then then we just uh, increase the saturation in an even way. So we'll just keep it around here. Now I find that uh, this area here around these buildings is a has a little bit of uh, lack of contrast I think I'd like to bring it forward out of the haze and I'll do that with uh, haze removal which is another module we don't have up yet so we'll just find it here and what this does is to uh, increase contrast and saturation based on how far back in the image we are so uh, as a default you can see we increase most most here in the foreground not so much in the background then we take the distance slider and drag it upwards 
and the adjustment creeps back into the image all the way into the mountains like this I got quite a dramatic result but we're gonna use the default settings and we're gonna mask off this area that we want it use a drone mask and a path and just click around roughly this area we want like this and then right click to stop editing to adjust softness well we first edit the shape of it a little bit dragging this a bit inwards and then hold down shift and roll the scroll wheel to, to uh, adjust softness like this and then there we are so this is without it and this is with it I see now there's a little bit here that could have some more so we'll just bring this back out here like that there we are now the last thing I'm gonna do is to reduce a little bit of noise especially in the clouds you can see there is a bit of noise since we increased the contrast so much and also down here there's a well that's not much it's tiny so normally I wouldn't bother with it maybe but what I'm gonna do now is to use the uh, profile denoise take, take away that profile denoise and I'm gonna uh, apply it and we can see that all the noise is gone but if you see down here it's maybe a little bit too much because it takes away some fine details so I'm gonna use uniform blending and take down the opacity to about 50% I normally do that when I have uh, low ISOs. Here the ISO is 125. Then we only have half of the uh, noise reduction and I get some of the detail back. And if you go up to the clouds. The noise is still mostly gone. Now we can take a look at what we started with there and then we ended here that's it for today next time I'll talk about some important concepts about how Darktable works if you like this channel then hit that subs subscribe button so you never miss an episode I'd also be very happy if you check out my other outlets on the internet all links are in the description and if there's anything about Darktable you'd like me to, to talk about, then give me a comment and tell me so. See you next week.